So, so currently within the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, we have about 1,700 undergraduate students enrolled in our majors. And that number is just continuously growing and expanding throughout each academic year. Our majors are a great pathway for, of course, a variety of careers in chemistry industry, including working in pharmaceuticals or biotechnology. And our majors serve as great preparation for graduate programs or medical or professional school opportunities. We have about 65 faculty employed within our department. Um, and our faculty highly contribute to our student learning and growth not just through in-classroom experiences, but also outside of the classroom, um, outside of the classroom experiences through working alongside a faculty member in one of their on-campus research labs or through an established mentor-mentee relationship with that faculty member. We offer a total of five majors through our department, which include chemistry, biochemistry, pharmacological chemistry, environmental chemistry and molecular synthesis. And we also offer a chemistry minor. So we are an uncapped major, which basically just means we don't have additional screening or application requirements uh, students have to meet when attempting to switch into or uh, between our majors. And this is good news for definitely a lot of our students. Uh, just keep in mind, though, that this is different from actual admission screening criteria. Um, and one thing I do want to mention in regards to the pandemic and COVID-19 and how this affects our students and department as a whole, majority of our courses are still operating through a remote virtual format. Um, and this situation, of course, is continuously changing and evolving. So if you do decide to apply and are admitted to UCSD um, in our major, it's likely this format will look a little differently um, from how it's currently operating. Okay, so now I'm going to go into some detail on the specifics of what we as undergraduate chemistry major advisors can assist our students with and how that might differentiate from the student's college or various other departments outside the student's major. So we can definitely answer enrollment related questions, however, only specifically to enrollment in chemistry courses. So for any uh, enrollment related questions for courses outside the chemistry department, we would advise that the students seek advising from that outside department. We can also assist with short term academic planning. So if students have questions about planning out their major courses for one particular quarter, we can definitely assist with that. So short-term academic planning largely takes place through our walk-in advising services and also within our virtual advising center platform. Uh, walk-in and virtual advising services are largely dedicated to more general student-related questions surrounding things like degree audit checks, enrollment, and major requirements, just to name a few of them. And we can also assist with long-term major academic planning. Um, so uh, we offer and hold academic advising appointment sessions with our students where we can discuss and create long-term quarter-by-quarter plans. Long-term planning does require scheduling an appointment with a chemistry undergraduate advisor. And these are opportunities for our students to really have that longer, more personalized time with one of our um, undergraduate advisors. We also oversee and process any petitions students submit to us, such as major requirement waivers, late ad requests, or course substitution petitions, just to name a few. Students also come to us if they're experiencing any academic struggles. Um, as you all can probably anticipate, um, chemistry is a very academically rigorous and challenging major. And we are here to advise and listen to any struggles our students may be experiencing and direct them to any available academic assistance resources, such as tutoring services. We are also very knowledgeable of various other available on campus resources outside of our department that can not only assist our students with other academic support needs, but also any psychological, social, or financial types of needs as well. We 
also can provide insight on how to take advantage of our research opportunities. Our department, along with others, do provide services that support student research. And I'll definitely touch on that, um, go into more detail on this in future slides. We also have peer advisors who serve as great supportive resources for our students, and they can provide insight on their experience as a chemistry major here at UCSD and really advise our students on how to get involved in research and internship opportunities and get connected to um, other on-campus resources and establish that strong sense of community to campus. So now I'm going to discuss and give a brief overview of the five majors we offer through the chemistry department. Uh, change slide, perfect. We have, first, we have our chemistry major, which is a fairly popular major of ours. Uh, this would be best suited for students who are um, maybe interested in various areas of chemistry, um, or they maybe aren't exactly quite sure what specific career path they want to, they want to explore as a chemist. Um, so this major would be great for those who don't really want to be forced to specialize um, and have the opportunity to really explore um, various subjects um, such as biochemistry, organic, inorganic, physical, and analytical chemistry. Um, next, we have our environmental chemistry major, and this is one of our smallest majors that we offer um, and really focuses on sustainable chemistry and global climate issues and really helps prepare our students um, to enter industrial government or legal or the legal workforce. We also have a uh, pharmacological chemistry, which really helps assist and prepare students for pharmacy school. Definitely a very popular major, um, especially for our pre-med and pre-health students um, and serves as a great career um, in drug design. Uh, we also have our molecular synthesis major, which is one of our smaller majors. Um, and provides training in all aspects of molecular synthesis of organic, inorganic, and biological substances, and is great for a career in biotechnology, di diagnostic, electronic, and pharmaceutical enterprises. And finally, we have our biochemistry major, which I would say is certainly our most popular. Um, we have many students in this major who are pre-med, pre-health, or plan to go to graduate school um, and it's great for those who are also passionate, of course, about the subject of biology and really would like that complement, complement it to complement the chemistry major. Um, side note, uh, the Department of Biology does offer um, a biochemistry major as well, which is called biochemistry and cell biology. However, ours, which is housed in a completely different department, is just called biochemistry. Uh, we did recently introduce some curriculum changes to our biochemistry major and all our fall 2020 admits and beyond um, must follow the new biochemistry major curriculum rather than the old major, which was entitled chemistry slash biochemistry. Many of our students who are majoring in chemistry are following some kind of pre-med or pre-health trajectory or path. And our courses are most certainly a uh, great preparation for that. It's important to point out though that all the courses students are required to complete for any of our chemistry majors don't necessarily cover all the academic course prerequisites required by um, the pre-med or pre-health programs. And we uh, advise that our students research the academic prerequisites required by programs they intend to apply to in case they need to complete extra coursework outside of the chemistry major. So UCSD's career services, um, however, does offer uh, pre-health, pre-med advising. And for our students planning to go down this professional path, um, I always um, refer or encourage them to most certainly use this amazing service that UCSD offers. So UCSD, um, as a research-focused institution, uh, really promotes and provides a lot of research-based opportunities um, and experiences for its students. Our department certainly encourages our students to pursue research throughout their undergraduate career. Uh, the chemistry department has courses or special studies opportunities um, in which students can actually earn academic credit uh, for conducting independent research with a faculty or industry member. 
uh, participation in a lab under special studies can really provide that specialized hands-on experience for our students and better prepare them for a career in industry or graduate study. And um, of course, fulfill a major course requirement or also be applied to the requirements of graduating with honors in chemistry. We heavily encourage our students to engage in outside the classroom learning opportunities such as presenting at our annual symposium whose operations are overseen by UCSD's American Chemical, Chemical Society Student Affiliates or its acronym ACSSA. Uh, this symposium is a great opportunity for students to engage in professional communication, receive constructive feedback from faculty and peers, participate in networking, and can actually fulfill one of the other chemistry honors requirements, which is presenting at a professional conference. So we also have a chemistry student blog and our department is very frequently active on this platform. Um, we are constantly posting job, internship, research and scholarship opportunities to this portal. And we receive um, these opportunities from departments inside and outside uh, UCSD. And this is a great platform to use for students because opportunities are constantly being posted and there's always a variety to choose from. Another great student resource, uh, UCSD's Academic Internship Program, or AIP, is a great resource uh, for our students who want to earn academic credit outside our major through experiences gained through internship opportunities. Um, UCSD's Career Center also has great online tools and in-person students can use to locate internship or research opportunities such as the Real Portal. Um, and the Real Portal houses opportunities for students in any major not just STEM focused majors. And the same applies to the academic internship program. And UCSD's academic enrichment program or AEP is also a great service um, for students in building research skills and experience, but also um, a very strong sense of community to campus. Um, they have many programs within um, this, within AEP, which include um, their faculty mentor program, which is a very popular one, California Alliance for Minority Participation in Science, along with their engineering and mathematics uh, program, just to name a few that they offer. And our department and departments outside of um, chemistry do provide various other on-campus academic support resources. So one of the number one things we tell our students um, is to take advantage of TA and instructor office hours our chemistry coursework is very vigorous um, and challenging. And these outside the classroom office hours are a really great way for, for our students um, or any students to not only gain a better understanding about the course content, but also establish a sense of rapport um, or professional relationship with the faculty member of the TA of the or the TA of the course. A few more amazing resources provided by UCSD uh, we have the Teaching and Learning Commons, uh, which offers great academic support services such as supplemental instruction, tutoring, and study groups for students and subjects such as biology, physics, math, and chemistry. Uh, OASIS is another great supportive resource that offers transitional programs for entering students and tutoring and writing chemistry, math, and physics. There are also physics and math tutoring services offered through their designated departments. Um, our department does facilitate private chemistry tutoring services. Um, we comprise a list of students each academic year who are willing to offer the tutoring service and services in chemistry um, who specialize in a specific area of the subject, such as biochem, inorganic, organic, um, who earned very high grades in these subjects and our students um, can actually reach out to these tutors um, and schedule a session and payment arrangements are made privately between the student um, and tutor. So, well, that is all I have to for you all today presentation wise. Um, if you have any questions, if you haven't already, please direct them to the Q&A chat feature and myself or Hannah can go, just go ahead and answer these live for you all. Our contact information for prospective students uh, is located on this slide 
along with the URL that connects you to our website homepage, which houses everything I went over today. So if you want to maybe take a screenshot of this, write it down, um, this information is there for you and we're definitely happy to answer your questions. Perfect. Thank you so much, Kelsey. Um, everybody, my name is Hannah. I am an undergraduate advising manager for the chemistry department, as Kelsey mentioned earlier. Um, and yeah, we're just going to jump into questions. So I will see what we have so far. Um, and like Gelsey said, please do continue to submit your questions through the Q&A if any um, come up as I'm speaking. So um, the first question was whether calculus-based physics courses and calculus three are a requirement for biochemistry majors. Um, the answer to that is yes, we do require calculus-based physics. Um, there are um, two sets of the series at UCSD. So we have um, one that series, I should say, that is more intended for biology majors and then another that's more intended for um, engineering and chemistry majors. But for the biochemistry major, either series is actually acceptable and calculus three is required. So there are uh, three calculus classes that you must take as a biochemistry major. Um, the next question was about the rigor for being a biochemistry major at UCSD compared to being a biology major. Um, and the student says they're concerned because having a competitive GPA is essential for applying to dental school, which um, is certainly accurate, as well as applying to um, really any professional or uh, health field. Um, in terms of rigor, it's a little bit of a hard question to answer because it does depend on really your um, your aptitude and your interest and ability in certain subjects. So, for example, um, I've had students tell me that they really struggle in their biology classes or chemistry majors, but they struggle in their biology classes because it's really just not their uh, field. They don't really take to that subject as much as they might for chemistry. Um, the reputation for chemistry versus biology uh, or majoring in one of those subjects, I should say, is that chemistry or biochemistry tends to be more rigorous. Um, however, like I said, I think it just really depends on your aptitude in both of those subjects. So really think honestly about um, how you do in, in your lower division biology and general chemistry and organic classes, because either way, you're going to have to take those if you're a chemistry, biochemistry, or biology major, and then make your decision based off of that. Um, it's going to be very unique to, to you as a student. Um, next question was whether there's extra requirements if you're transferring into uh, the pharmacological chemistry major versus just chemistry or one of our other majors. Um, answer is no. So for our, um, to actually transfer in. So if you're transferring into our department uh, from a community college, for example, the requirements are exactly the same for every single one of our majors. Um, and then if you are just a UCSD student, say you're a biology major or a communications major and you want to change to pharmacological chemistry, there's no screening requirements, no prerequisite courses you must complete um, if you're already at UCSD. Um, of course, we would highly recommend that say you're going into your third year, if you haven't taken general chemistry, organic, physics, uh, or at least some physics and some math, um, it's going to be rather difficult for you to complete your pharmacological chemistry or any chemistry degree um, within the four year span that you have. But to answer your question of whether there's extra requirements, no, there is not. Next question was, is it feasible to double major in chemistry um, with a major that's unrelated to chemistry? Um, again, this is a little bit hard to answer because it will be dependent on, you know, your particular workload that you have with on, on the college side. So each college has different um, general education and university requirements. So whether you can juggle that along with the requirements for two full additional majors, um, it, it's going to be unique to you. I, I will say that 
if you were double majoring chemistry and say psychology, there's not going to be no overlap. Um, so that means you're taking the requirements for two majors and hopefully finishing in four years as, as a freshman, right? Um, that may mean that you might be taking six or more classes a quarter. So that may be a little bit difficult, but um, it's definitely something that I've seen students do, it's possible. So if you're considering that, once you start at UCSD, contact your college, contact your major advisors, and we can help you through that process. Um, the next question was whether we could elaborate on the honors program that we mentioned earlier. So I'm gonna see if I can share my screen. Um, Kelsey, can you stop sharing yours and then I, I can share mine? Thank you, thank you. Let me see where I have, okay. So I wanted to share with you um, some of the requirements for our honors program. It, it's fairly straightforward. Um, basically to earn departmental honors, you need to meet a certain GPA requirement. So as you can see here, it's 3.2 for just your overall GPA. So that would include anything that you're taking for general education requirements, as well as um, major requirements. And then you need to have a 3.4 in your um, major GPA. You also need to complete what is called um, Chem 199, which is research credit. And you need two quarters of that. Um, and then like Gelsey mentioned, you also do need to present at a symposium or a research conference. Um, luckily, we, we do have one that takes place at UCSD. So that's a, a possibility for any undergraduate student who wants to present in the sciences. So you could even present at our symposium if you're a biology major or an engineering major. Um, other than that, that, that's really it. Those are the requirements. There's, there's no special application to be a department honors student. You just have to submit um, a form uh, your last quarter. I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay, next question says, uh, they're looking to become a veterinarian in the future. Um, if I major in biochemistry, can I fill fulfill the prerequisites for vet graduate school? Um, this is also a really great question. It's not one that we actually get a whole lot. Uh, most of our majors, I will say, are in uh, the track for medical school in particular, or very popular is pharmacy school. Um, however, it's very, very possible. I imagine that a lot of the requirements for our majors do overlap with um, vet school because you will need to know chemistry and biology. However, um, it's definitely not going to fulfill everything. So what I would tell you to do is, I will find the link right now, um, peruse the Health Beat website. This is an excellent resource at UCSD um, where you can see all the requirements or general prerequisites for um, pharmacy school, dental school, veterinary school, PA school, um, and you can get a better idea of what will be required of you that isn't covered by, say, a chemistry major. So I would definitely recommend looking at that. I just sent the link in the chat. So for it looks like uh, Asha, who asked the question, please go ahead and look through there. If you have any questions, you can definitely reach out to Career Services or HealthBeat. Um, there's contact information on that website. Let's see. Next question says, for those interested in the Skag School of Pharmacy program, will they be applying for it after receiving a bachelor's degree? What is the general process for participation in the program? Um, so if you are pursuing admission to the farm, farm school at the Skag School of Pharmacy, um, which is UCSD's farm school, um, yes, you would be applying either after you finished your bachelor's or um, towards the end of the time that you're finishing your bachelor's. It would depend on exactly when their, the Skag's admission deadline is. Um, 
do want to mention very briefly, there is an accelerated program uh, for students who enter UCSD as a freshman. So unfortunately, this is not available to transfer students. But if you are interested in an accelerated program um, to get into the Skag School of Pharmacy, that is an option and you would actually begin your um, or farm school during your third year um, or sorry, during your what would be your fourth year at UCSD. Um, that's a very specialized program. So if you have particular questions about that, please do email us. Um, the email that Gelsey mentioned, and I'll just put it into the chat again, chemadvising at ucsd.edu. If you have questions about that, please just let us know and we can address those. Um, okay, next question says, how do you make sure to take all prerequisite courses uh, for the pre-med track if you're majoring in biochemistry? Um, Short answer is you will want to work with both of your both your major advisors, so like me and Gelsey, as well as the career center um, on campus. So we can help you plan out your major classes and show you which will overlap between your major classes and any additional prerequisites that you may need to take as a biochemistry major for the pre-med track. Um, and then that site that I just linked through the chat, that's one where you can go through and see what are additional requirements for the pre-med track. Um, so again, if you have particular questions about that for your particular situation, please do feel free to reach out through Chem Advising. Um, but once you're a student here, we can definitely sit down with you and map out a plan that's particular to what you've already completed um, and particular to your major and any additional requirements that you need to take. Next question is, is bioengineering um, under the chemistry department? It is not. Um, bioengineering would fall under the engineering department. So definitely contact them if you have questions. Uh, next says, is there a master's integrated program available? No, there is not. We do not have that in our department. Um, you will see certain other departments do. For example, biology does have a BS MS program, but we do not have that. Uh, if I'm not interested in my major when taking the courses, would it be possible to switch to a minor? Um, yes, uh, short answer, yes. You could certainly choose to switch your major to something else and then minor in chemistry. Our minor is not capped, meaning that there's no certain screening requirements or application process to get into our minor, just like Gelsey said for our majors. Um, that would just depend really on what major you would want to switch to because you wouldn't want to be planning to major in something that you know is capped and then it's a little bit too late to, to switch something like that um, but yes you, you could definitely minor um, in chemistry if you end up not wanting to major in it uh, what are the rates of employment for chemistry majors after graduation at UCSD? That's an excellent question, and I wish we had the data to relay that to you. Um, we are working, at least hopefully, we're, we're hoping to have more of the tangible information to give eventually um, in terms of the stats for our students uh, and alumni after they graduate. But unfortunately, we don't have that information or currently a way to um, to collect it. So anything that we have is more anecdotal currently. Um, but um, I will say, again, this is anecdotal, but um, most of our majors, they go into graduate school. So masters and PhD programs, they go into research, they go into um, some even go into teaching. Um, some will pursue a PhD in order to teach at the college or university level. Um, some go into industry jobs. So being at UCSD is actually great uh, as a STEM major um, because not only is UCSD, not only does it have an excellent reputation for um, the sciences, we also just, because we live in San Diego, the proximity to different industry jobs, they're plentiful. So that's also another thing that students do, especially um, if you're not planning to pursue a graduate level degree, going into industries is, is a, a popular choice. 
Um, is calculus three a requirement for transfer for the pharmaceutical chemistry major? Or can I complete the course at UCSD? Um, if you are a, I'm assuming you're a transfer student um, because Calc 3 is a requirement for all of our majors um, regardless. But if you are talking about um, the transfer requirement, let me double check for you on that. Um, no, so you actually, uh, for your transfer prep, if you're coming from a community college, you only need to take up until Calc 2 to be admitted to UCSD. But yes, you, you do need that requirement, Calc 3, to, to graduate. Is there a way to focus on a specific field within chemistry, such as neuroscience? Would, it, would this be done with research or through some classes? We don't have a way to focus on neuroscience in our department, unfortunately. Um, you might want to look into minoring in maybe um, uh, a bi biology because they do have some neuroscience classes. Um, that way you could kind of get that exposure and experience in the topic. But unfortunately, no, we don't have a way to specialize in neuroscience in our department. Um, let's see. For the person who asked, is calculus BC enough? You may be speaking of AP or IB. Credit. Kelsey, are you familiar with, with this? If not, I might ask the yeah, uh, student familiar. to clarify. Okay. Um, I would email a, a more particular or specific question to Chem Advising um, because I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not exactly sure what you are referencing. So please do email us, um, chemadvising at ucsd.edu. How can the pharmacological chemistry program uh, prepare students for the application process as well as the rigors of pharmacy school. Um, well, I don't think that the major on its own can necessarily prepare you for the rigor. I mean, it it's going to depend on what you put into it um, in order for what you get out of it. So something that I would tell you is um, regardless of the major that you're in, if you're trying to be competitive for, if it's graduate school or farm school, med school, et cetera, um, your extracurriculars are going to be extremely important. And of course, just doing well in your classes and um, earning a relatively high GPA, all of that, but um, getting some experience like research experience, internship experience, volunteer experience that's related to the path you're trying to go is you're going to find that to be very valuable and likely the best way for you to make connections, which may um, help you get letters of recommendation, which are usually required for these programs. And that is going to be the way to help you be the most competitive. So the major on its own, it's fantastic prep for pharmacy school, but in order to prepare for the application process, that's only going to be one little portion of your, your journey towards farm school. Uh, let's see. This student says an internet search for environmental chemistry gives the study of chemical processes that occur in living environments, but the presentation had a slightly different definition. Can you elaborate on what the major would entail? Okay, um, so to put it simply, our environmental chemistry major is, it's fairly similar to our other majors. And you will, you will find that if you look online and see the major requirements for all five majors, there's significant overlap, especially when you look at lower division uh, courses. Almost all the lower division courses are the same amongst the five majors. And then even when you get into upper division coursework, all of our majors require physical chemistry, at least some biochemistry. Most require um, some inorganic chemistry. Um, most are going to have you taking um, uh, about five labs, etc. So. Uh, for environmental chemistry, what really sets it apart from the other majors is that you are required to take these four core environmental chemistry classes. Um, if you look on our catalog, you'll see them labeled as, and I'll send this in the chat right now so you can see, they're called Chem 171, 172, 173, and 174. Um, 
these are the classes, like I said, that are specific to the environmental discipline. Um, so you'll you'll get more exposure there. And something that's cool and unique about the environmental chemistry major is that you have the opportunity to take some classes in the Scripps Institute of Oceanography, which is uh, not an option for our other majors. So you have some elective options there. But um, it's a great question. If you, if you have particular questions about that major, do feel free to reach out to us through the chem advising email. Uh, for a transfer student, is a GETC completion recommended? If it's the case, will we take any GE class again later? Um, whether it's recommended, Kristen might be able to answer that better than I could. Um, I will address the will we take any GE classes again later. Um, while a GETC certification does ensure that the vast majority of your GEs are going to be completed and you won't have to take many at UCSD. Each college does have different GE requirements and there is, for example, um, university-wide requirement DEI, the diversity um, and inclusion requirement. So you would need to take that regardless. Um, but in terms of it being recommended, which, what would you say, Kristen? Is, is that recommended for students to complete? at the admissions level? I would have to get back to the student on that, but I'm about to send a link um, in the chat feature to uh, recommend that students, if they have specific questions like this about requirements, including a gutsy, um, to book a virtual advising appointment with an admissions officer. Um, so I'll send that link in the chat right now. Perfect, thank you, Kristen. Uh, okay, next one. Could I use dual enrollment credits in chemistry to satisfy major requirements? Otherwise, can this help with placement into more advanced classes? Um, I, you may be, are you speaking of, well, I suppose you can't answer me right now, but if you're speaking of um, something in relation to to high school, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is another question that I, I would recommend you reach out to us individually through the chem advising email because I'm not um, entirely sure what you're referencing. So I, I apologize about that. Um, how is the environment amongst chemistry students? Is it more competitive or collaborative? Uh, that's a really great question. I, I since I am not a chemistry student, I wouldn't want to speak for the student experience. Um, I, from the feedback I've gotten from students is, is that it does seem more collaborative. I hear a lot of students who do study groups together and help each other out with like study guides and the like. However, I think it likely depends on the student, the class, um, and just the nature of the class, you know, whether it's um, more um, uh, apt for individual work or more group work. But we do have, um, a, a really great resource that Gelsey mentioned, which is peer, our peer advising services. And that's one that um, you can actually ask current students in the major um, about questions just like that. Like, what's it like to be a chemistry student? What's it actually like to be in these classes, interact with other students? Is it collaborative? Is it more um, uh, competitive? Um, so definitely, see about getting in contact with a peer advisor. Um, you can certainly attend their office hours, even if you aren't um, currently a UCSD student, but they also have an email that you can use. So I will um, link that in the chat right now. So give me a second. Just gonna get that to you. Here's our peer advising info in the in the chat. Is farm chem better for pre med than just chemistry? Um, the farm chem major will have a little bit more overlap in the pharmacy school prerequisites than the straight chemistry major. However, you can really actually be any major and be pre-farm or pre-med. You just have to make sure that you complete those prerequisites. But short answer, um, it's a little bit better preparation because you're required to take a couple of biology classes and um, chemistry, you are not required to do that. 
Uh, let's see. So we have a question about IB chemistry and whether a certain score on the test would basically waive a certain chemistry requirement. Um, yes. So there's certain scores that you would need for the IB, AP, or um, A levels. Um, that will basically mean that you don't have to take those at UCSD. This is only for general chemistry lectures, not for anything else. So no organic, no um, labs. So I'll send you that uh, link in the chat right now so you can have a nice overview. Um, is biochemistry like biomedical science or are they two different majors? Um, we don't have a biomedical science major. I'm not sure if this might be one that is in another department. I'm, I'm not familiar with it. Um, I definitely look around online to see it, if there is a major that is specifically titled biomedical science, but no, that's not a major in our department. Okay, so this student says they were originally a bi biology major and switched into chemistry. Uh, they took out they took algebra-based physics at school that has some calculus in it. Is it likely I'll have to take physics again? Any chance I'd be denied admission due to this? Um, if you're transferring from a community college, you're going to want to look on assist.org. I'm going to put that in the chat. Um, see if the class that you took or classes that you're taking um, will give you credit for either the math 10 series or the math 20 series. If it's going to give you credit for one of those series, you're good. If not, then unfortunately that would not fulfill the requirement for one of our majors. I'm a chemistry major and I'm looking towards working in the forensic science field. Um, do we have any courses that dive deeper into that? That's a great question. Um, it's actually one that we get a few times a year, uh, students who are interested in forensic science in, in particular. Um, we used to have a seminar that covered forensic science, but I haven't seen that offered recently. And unfortunately, we currently don't have any um, elective courses that really delve deeper into forensic science. And I'm not aware of any at UCSD. I know that there is a program through, or a class through, I think it's UC Davis or UC Santa Cruz that has forensic chemistry um, involved, but, um, not at UCSD that I know of right now, unfortunately. You might be able to get involved in some research at UCSD that goes more into that topic, but in terms of classes, unfortunately, we don't have that. Uh, apologies. Uh, okay, let's see. This person says they're hearing the possibility of a bio major. Do you mean biochemistry or is there a biology major? Um, so that's also a great question. Um, in our department, the, the reason why you didn't see biology is because we don't have a biology major. There is a biology major at UCSD, but that is housed under the Division of Biological Sciences. So um, that is not one in, in our department. If you're interested in majoring in biology, you'll want to do a Google search for Division of Biological Sciences UCSD, and you'll find the major there. What is the acceptance rate into med school and pharmacy schools for those who have graduated from a chemistry program at UCSD? Also a fantastic question. We, unfortunately, we don't have the stats on that. And I, I apologize. Um, I will say that you know UCSD, it's in general a fairly competitive school to receive a, a degree from, um, and especially if you're getting a degree from UCSD in the sciences. So take that as you will. But um, if you're concerned with your competitiveness to get into one of these programs, definitely uh, what's relevant for you is a little bit of what I mentioned earlier, making yourself competitive through internships, research experience, volunteer experience, making connections with your professors, especially in classes that are particular to um, the health sciences would be the way to go. 
does UCSD give internship opportunities to undergrads? Um, yes, there are definitely internship opportunities available. Um, something that I always tell students is if you're interested in um, getting an internship, which I imagine a lot of you would be, and that's a really great goal to have, um, is you have to be proactive. These types of internships are not going to be, say, a part of your program. They're not going to be um, handed to you. So being proactive, really being active in these job portals, job boards, reaching out to faculty for research positions is going to be essential to getting an internship position. But once you come to UCSD, that's something we can definitely assist you with and point you to different offices that can help facilitate that process. What do you think differentiates UCSD from other chemistry programs at other schools? Um, also a great question. Something that I would say is a, the number one thing that differentiates us is that we're a chemistry and biochemistry department. So you'll find at many, many other universities, those two departments are actually split or there's chemistry and then biochemistry is housed under the biology department, whereas ours is, is condensed. So to be clear, like Asha asked earlier um, about the biology major, biochemistry um, does not mean we have a biology major. So we don't have any such major that incorporates a significant amount of biology. Um, we have more that's focused on chemistry and, and biochemistry. But um, having an emphasis and a lot of classes and research that's going on in biochemistry is a little bit different than what you'll find in other chemistry departments at other schools. What major is best for optometry? Oh, wow, that's a really great question too. Not one that we get a lot. Um, that career center website that I sent will be an excellent resource for you if you are thinking of going into optometry. Um, there's, you'll see that the, the prerequisites that are listed are going to be um, a lot of the same of what you would be taking for another health field. So, but you'll wanna see what are the particulars for optometry. Um, so that's one that I would definitely recommend. Look through that website. If you still have questions, contact a career center advisor about that one. Um, great question. What's the average GPA of an admitted transfer student into the farm chem major and the average cumulative GPA for graduates of the program? Um, let's see, average GPA for admitted transfer students. So I think, let me check. I think that Kristen, I think you answered that for another student um, for the average transfer GPA. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Let's see. Okay, so average overall GPA for transfer admits, at least this past fall, was between a 3.41 to a 3.88. So that's average. Um, average for graduates of the program, that's something I, I don't know off the top of my head. I, I can see if I can find that information if you'd like to email us, um, but I, that's something that we need to do a little bit of digging for. So uh, if you're still curious, definitely email us and I'll see if I can find you that answer. Does it make a difference which major um, out of biochem and pharmacological chemistry we list as our first choice versus alternative if both have similar major requirements and can lead into pharmacy school? Is it easy to switch from one to the other? Um, I'll start with answering that last question. Is it easy to switch from one to the other? Yes, it is, especially if you are trying to switch within your first two years because there's so much overlap in the lower division requirements. Um, very easy to switch between the two. Um, Difference in terms of which major you list, um, Kristen, I, I, I'm not sure if you would better be able to answer that. I, I imagine not because we're not capped. So I can't imagine that would make an impact on an admissions decision, but um, I don't know if you have more to weigh in on there. If not, then <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think so, I will tell you, because that's generally something that um, matters with capped majors. So since as far as admissions is concerned, those two are the same in terms of admissions requirements, I don't think it would make a difference. 
I'm sorry, I was catching up on a <laughs> question. You're um, totally fine. Yes, whatever you are interested in more, I recommend putting that as your first choice major um, and then your alternate major, um, as long as it's not capped, that's, they're both not capped, so that's totally fine. So yes, Hannah, you were correct. Okay, perfect, thanks, Kristen. Um, okay, next one. Is there a possibility to specialize in food chemistry? Wow. Um, I wish. That sounds fantastic. I, we currently don't have any classes or seminars that focus specifically in food chemistry, but it's possible that, you know, depending on um, whose lab you might be interested in joining as an undergraduate, you, you might be able to get into that um, research um, uh, specialty, but I, I don't know of any, th that particular type of research being done right now. Um, it's a great question though. Okay, last question so far is, what kind of research is currently being conducted at UCSD through the chem department? Ooh. It's a big question. <laughs> a lot, but a lot. Um, like I said, we, we do have a large emphasis on biochemistry in our department, but that's not to say we don't have a significant amount of research being done in other areas. So um, you are going to see a whole lot of different research um, information um, if you look at our website. So let me, um, I'll share my screen again so I can show you if you're interested in this. Um, if you go to our main website, which is chemistry.ucsd.edu, and then once it loads, if you go to the far left corner and um, go to faculty, and then go to research tracks, this is going to be the best way for you to look through and see if there's um, research or um, what types of research there is going on at UCSD and you're going to see it's plentiful. Um, you can break it down by the broad uh, discipline category. So you'll see we have it uh, separated into analytical and atmospheric chemistry, biochem, biophysics, chemical education, organic, all of this. You can go through each um, faculty that you see here is going to have a lab page where you can look into their research in particular. But um, while it's a really great question, it's, it's one that's a little bit difficult to answer because um, there is so much research being done at UCSD that I would really recommend that you go in and just dabble in and see if uh, what's of interest to you because I'm sure you'll find something. Um, there's a lot. Can you describe the material taught in physical chemistry and how it differs from an inorganic and organic? Um, I would say that that's also a good question. It's a little bit beyond the scope of um, this session, just because we would need to go into quite a bit of detail. Um, if you're interested in comparing them, something I might suggest you do is look at the different syllabi for each of these classes. Um, if you're interested in that, please email us. We can get you some syllabi and you can compare them. But um, yeah, they're, they're, they're quite different disciplines. So um, like I said, likely something that we would wanna go into a little bit more in detail um, outside of this session. And then I think that's it. Um, and I think we only have one minute. So unless there's any um, last question. Okay, are there certain schools within UCSD that are better than others for pharmacological chemistry majors or biochem majors within UCSD that are better than others. I'm not sure I understand your question. Could you clarify? Are there certain schools within UCSD that are better? I'm not sure I understand, I'm sorry. Oh, got it, the different colleges, understood. Um, there may be off the top of my head, I don't know if Kristen or Gelsey has this answer um, without researching, but I know that there's a, um, there's a few of the colleges that do have a, like a physical sciences requirement that you might be able to overlap with your major. Um, in general, there's no one um, college that's like recommended if you're going to be a science uh, major or a chemistry major. Um, it really doesn't make a huge impact, but um, I'm not sure, like I said, 
off the top of my head, I don't know of one that has the most overlap. Um, I don't know if you know, Kelsey. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I do not know, but feel free That's to just, fine. Send, yeah. I mean, they, you could just send us um, an email through Chem Advising and we're, we're happy to look into that. Yeah, and then that looks like, a, thank you, Kristen. Kristen just sent in the chat um, a website where you can compare the general education requirements between the colleges. That's probably the best way to go because um, at the GE lo level, you're not going to be required to be taking, say, like these upper division chemistry classes that are requirements for your major. So if anything, the overlap would be in like general chemistry or calculus or maybe physics. So look and see um, for the GEs on that website um, whether they have some overlap there. But like Kristen said, it, there's no like, oh, this is Ravel College is for chemistry majors. It doesn't work like that. So um, I would just recommend when you're selecting the college, when you apply, see other aspects that more appeal to you um, versus it being uh, one that's suited for your major. And I, I know we're out of time. I just want to quickly, quickly add, I don't know if the student is still um, in the session, but there was a question about BC math exam. I found a link that gives information on what those, the equivalent of those scores. So I'm just going to go ahead oh, and okay. send that through Perfect. the chat. It looks like, Thank you. Of course. It looks like the max score of five gives you um, math uh, equivalent credit of math 20 A and B or um, math 10 A and B. And we require um, up to uh, 20 D. So it wouldn't quite fulfill all those requirements. Excellent. Okay. Um, sorry, and one more thing I wanted <laughs> to add on uh, really quick. Uh, a student asked about um, the stats on, I believe, um, students uh, uh, graduating with a chemistry major um, and the rates of getting into um, med school. Um, I know they have uh, the pre-med, pre pre-health advising has statistics on um, the acceptance rates for UCSD students. I don't know specifically about the chemistry major, but I'm sending a link. Recommend that you just send them a quick email asking for that information. And I'm sure uh, hopefully they'll have that for you. Awesome. Thanks, Kelsey. You're welcome. Great. I, I guess we're out of time, but if you have any additional questions, that email that we keep referencing um, would be your resource for any additional questions. So please reach out and um, we hope you do consider UCSD. Uh, we would be very happy to have you. Thank you.